One of the driving forces behind the fan frenzy for the super hit manga My Hero Academia, aside from its epic battles and intricate storylines, is its electric chemistry and budding romance between the beloved characters Izuku, Deku, Midoriya, and Ochiko Uraraka that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Join us as we take you through the romantic events between Midoriya and Ochiko. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Midoriya is the main protagonist of the manga and anime My Hero Academia, and is in Class 1A at UA High School. He comes from a world where humans develop powers after they are born. However, he didn't fit into this world because he did not develop powers. He watched all his peers enjoy their powers and dreamt of becoming like his idol, All Might. Once he realizes that he would never be like the pupil from his world, Midoriya decided to go to the Hero Academia in UA to fulfill his dream. At the Academy, Midoriya meets Ochiko Uraraka. She is a short girl with a slender yet curvy figure, fair skin, and auburn hair with eyes that match in color. Known as the most laid-back girl in her class, Ochiko is very bubbly and kind of an airhead sometimes. She is often incredibly blunt without being aware of it. Similar to Izuku Midoriya, Ochiko's actions and reactions tend to be exaggerated and humorous. She often becomes amused at certain personality traits and quirks others exhibit, bursting into laughter at times which she tries to suppress. Ochiko is very good at reading people, and understands the reasons behind Izuku and Katsuki Pakuko's rivalry. Raised in a poor household, Ochiko tends to become quickly excited or surprised over little things. Ochiko finds Midoriya incredibly admirable for his strength and compassion. She has developed a crush on him because of this and their close friendship, resulting in her attempting to follow his example, for better or for worse. While he inspires her, Ochiko also acknowledges that heroism takes priority over her romantic feelings and does her best to continue to grow, while keeping them in check. Izuku has also caused her to consider who protects heroes when protection is needed most, since he continually throws himself into dangerous situations. This prominently shows how deeply Ochiko cares about him and others. Deku and Ochiko find themselves randomly selected to be on a team together for one of their first hero exercises, facing off against Bakugo and Ida. It is a pivotal moment as Deku with his keen intuition predicts Bakugo's aggressive attacks and manages to slam him to the ground. With newfound confidence, Midoriya declared that Deku was now the name of a hero, not a weak child. A declaration echoed by a heartwarming flashback of Ochiko admiring the name Deku seeing it as embodying a can-do attitude. Ochiko's feelings for Izuku often surfaced as subtle jealousy whenever other girls interacted closely with him. She felt a pang during his encounters with Mei Hatsumi, Melissa Shield, and Kami. Despite these feelings, Ochiko remained kind and never spiteful, always trying to suppress her jealousy. Her fresh, positive spin on the nickname Deku transformed Midoriya's perception of himself, turning a source of shame into a symbol of heroism. This marked the beginning of a deeper, mutual influence that went beyond simple infatuation. During the sports festival arc, especially in episode 4 of season 2, Deku enters the second round of the competition in first place, making him a prime target. No one wanted to team up with him, until Ojigo stepped forward. She boldly states, it's better to team up with someone you like, hitting Deku right in his heart. Her words were not just empty sentiments, she put herself at a disadvantage, showing her unwavering faith in his abilities. A rare moment of introspection takes place in episode 15 of season 3, where Ochiko was lost in thought in the common area of UA's dorms. Mina very perceptively guesses that Ochiko was in love. Though Ochiko denied it vehemently, her classmates weren't convinced. They could easily see her feelings for Midoriya, and Ochiko's distraction even activated her quirk, causing her to float around the room. From her elevated vantage point, she saw Midoriya practicing outside, with the scene set to Cupid-like music and bubbly backgrounds, highlighting the undeniable truth her friends had uncovered. In a climactic battle against Toga, Ochiko finally reveals her true feelings, admitting she fully loved Deku. Amidst the chaos, she bared her soul to the villain, a significant moment of self-realization. Yet, Ochiko still hadn't conveyed these feelings to Deku, who remains unaware of her deep affection. The most recent tender moment between Deku and Ochiko happened at the end of Season 6, Episode 24, 
After tirelessly hunting down All for One on his own, Deku is brought back to UA by Class 1A. While there was a touching reunion between them, the real standout moment occurs upon their return to UA. Civilians, fearing that Deku's presence would attract villains, demand his departure. Ochiko, seizing a megaphone and floating above the crowd, passionately reminds them that Deku is still just a boy. A tired child who is rough around the edges and burdened with immense responsibility. We witness the next evolution of Ochiko's promise to be the hero's hero as she courageously stands up for Deku. This pivotal moment where she defends him against a crowd of fearful civilians doesn't just showcase her own heroic values. It also ignites a spark of courage in others, like Koda and the Shark Woman, who find the strength to stand up as well. Through this selfless act, Ochiko highlights the countless sacrifices Deku has made, proving that his relentless heroism has inspired and saved many. Ochiko's decision places her in an unpopular position, yet she chooses to do what's right, affirming both her heroic ideals and her deep feelings for Midoriya. This scene stands out as one of My Hero Academia's finest, highlighting both the potential and strength of Deku and Ochiko's relationship. As the series progresses towards its finale, there is still room for Ochiko and Deku's relationship to grow and deepen. The bond between them has always been a core element of My Hero Academia, an emotional staple that grounds the entire narrative. With the story's end on the horizon, we can anticipate a significant moment between these two beloved characters, a culmination of their journey that will leave a lasting impact. Thank you for watching Fanimation! Stay tuned for the next epic anime recap!